Congratulations on the purchase of your ReadyBrake Surge Braking System. ReadyBrake will provide years of safe travel, and its innovative design makes installation a breeze. We'll walk you through ReadyBrake's straightforward installation step by step. You'll be admiring your handiwork before you know it and making plans for your next trip. Let's start by getting organized. Grab your toolbox and gather the following tools. A 1 8 inch drill bit, a 5 16 inch drill bit, a 3 8 inch drill bit, a Phillips screwdriver, a flat screwdriver, a utility knife, a pair of side cutters, a tape measure, a 7 millimeter hex wrench, a pair of pliers, zip ties, and a piece of chalk or colored pencil. Two 7 16 inch wrenches, two half inch wrenches, Great, now we're all set. But before we get started, here are a few important points to keep in mind when installing your Ready Brake system. With these points in mind, let's connect the Ready Brake to your RV's hitch. Begin by taking a rag and cleaning out the inside of your RV's hitch. Then slide the Ready Brake into it. Now, align the holes in the hitch and the Ready Brake and secure them with a 5 8 inch cross pin. All set. Now let's move to the inside of your towed vehicle to install the Ready Brake internal cable. You'll want to take your drill, tape measure, a piece of chalk, and your drill bits with you. Now pull back the carpet beneath the brake pedal to expose the floorboard. Depress and hold down the brake pedal. Then, allowing for a straight pull, mark a spot on the floorboard directly behind the brake arm. Load your drill with a 1 8 inch bit. Being careful to barely penetrate the firewall, drill a pilot hole to check for an obstruction on the engine side. If you find something in the way, drill another hole nearby to find a clear location. Then re-drill the hole using a 5 16 inch bit. If your floorboard has a double firewall or unibody frame box, you'll need to complete one additional step. First, locate a single thickness of firewall 2 to 3 inches to the right or left of the brake arm and mark your spot there. Then, remove the rubber pad from your brake pedal. Now you're going to drill one hole through the end of the pedal and a second hole near the brake arm. Let's attach the nut and washer to the conduit fitting. Then locate the hole you just drilled and slide the conduit fitting into it. Once the conduit fitting is in place, you'll need to move back inside for just a minute. Tightly secure the conduit fitting with the second nut and washer. Let's start by surveying the engine to locate potential problem areas. You'll want to avoid any parts that become hot and, of course, moving parts like fan blades and belts. Your route will run from the fitting you just installed in the firewall to a point near the center of your front bumper. Avoid bends smaller than a 6-inch radius to keep the conduit free of crimps. Once you've selected the best route, go ahead and run your conduit. Choose an entry point to run your cable into the conduit. This entry point should be through your bumper, base plate mount, or cross member. Once you've selected an entry point, drill the hole. Installing the fitting into your vehicle provides the most secure connection and is our preferred method. But as an alternative, you can secure the conduit by placing a clamp around the threaded part of the nylon fitting. Now align the conduit with your nylon fitting. Then trim the conduit to approximately 3 quarters of an inch short of this connection point. Now push the fitting onto the conduit. Finally, secure the fitting to your connection point by tightening the nylon nuts on both sides or alternately by tightening the clamp. With the nylon fitting secure, run the aircraft cable through the nylon fitting until the loop touches the nylon fitting at the front bumper. And finally, anchor the conduit along your route using heavy duty zip ties. If you happen to have a single wall behind the brake pedal and you did not have to move the hole over, Thread the cable through the back side of the bottom brake tie, loop it around the brake pedal arm, and then thread it back through the second hole in the brake tie. Now pull on the cable to remove any slack. Then lock the brake ties tightly around the brake pedal arm using the quarter inch by two and a quarter inch tap bolts, nuts, and lock washers. Lastly, trim the excess cable. If you had to move the hole in the firewall because you have a double firewall, Start by looping the cable through the back side of the outer hole, then back through the centermost hole. Put a wire rope clip on the back side to secure the aircraft cable. Now replace the rubber brake pad. Let's attach the ready brake to your tow bar and make some adjustments. Start by attaching the tow bar to the ready brake, inserting no more than 6 inches of tow bar head into the ready brake receiver. 
Make sure the tow car is centered behind the motorhome. Make sure the tow bar legs are fully extended and locked in their tow position. Finally, make sure the connection points are aligned and that the tow bar, chains, and lights are properly connected. Now attach the thimble of the wire sling to the ready brake actuator arm with the clevis. Attach the other end of the wire sling to the cable loop with the spring clip. To adjust the tension of the wire sling, grasp it in the middle with one finger and pull up. Make sure there's about 2 inches of slack and then tighten the 7 mm nuts. Now start your vehicle's engine. Then have a friend stand in front of the vehicle while you press on the brake pedal. Each time you press and release the pedal, the loop at the front bumper should move in and out. In some cases, you might want to achieve added return pull on the cable. You can accomplish this by attaching a bungee cord from the brake pedal to the seat frame when towing. Now install the DL300 in-dash monitoring system that came with the ready brake. When the ready brake activates, the LED on the dashboard lights up to alert you. Congratulations! You've successfully installed and adjusted your ready brake system, the most reliable and innovative towing system on the market. But before you travel, let's take your ready brake for a road test. First, verify the ready brake actuator arm is functioning properly. The actuator arm should point toward the towed vehicle when you're driving and toward the RV when braking. Also, make a mental note that after sudden or fast stops, the towed vehicle's brakes may still be engaged. If this happens, just pull your RV slightly forward and the brakes will release. It's that easy. Now that you've done the work, it's time to shift gears. So pack your bags, stock up on roadmaps, and get busy exploring. With Ready Brakes Lifetime Guarantee, you can travel with confidence. Thank you for placing your trust in NSA RV products. Visit a nearby dealer to see our full range of products designed for the RV enthusiast. Or find us online at www.readybrake.com.